Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor with another get to know the freshman 15. Wherever you're at, anywhere in the world right now, you could be a freshman going to college, freshman going to high school, or just somebody new at a whole nother perspective of your life. And you don't want to gain those 15 pounds. For those of you who are going to college right now, here's the key. You can't overeat. So what's going to happen? You're going to be in a dormitory and you're going to have access to a cafeteria with limitless food. Might not always be the best food, but more than likely you're going to have more than you really bargained for. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do right now. Weigh yourself. That's right. Weigh yourself because your goal is you do not want to gain a belt notch. One belt notch is worth 10 pounds. So let me get to some really basics about Preventing the freshman 15 and weight loss in general. This is so significant. It's very simple. You want to be aware of the amount of beverages and the calories in the beverages that you're consuming. One can of soda pop, a 12 ounce can of soda, has nine and a half teaspoons of sugar in it. And if you have access to look at labels, I want you to think of one gram as four teaspoons of sugar. You'll see, Dr. Bob, who cares about that? Well, I care about that because sugar itself, as you may or may not realize, is going to add calories to your body. You do not want to start your day off when you go to the cafeteria with a breakfast pastry or breakfast cereals that have sugar in it. And here's why. It's going to raise your insulin up. And then around 7 in the morning when you're eating that, and then when it comes down, you're going to crave more sugar. So all day long, you're going to be adding sugar to the system. And see what's going to happen, especially for those of you that are freshmen, you're going to be sitting in class more now than ever. And you're going to be going to bed late, and you're going to be waking up sometimes early, and you're not going to be exercising. So what I would suggest that you do for breakfast is have an egg, have some type of protein for breakfast that's no different than putting a log on the fire so all day long you're going downstream very slow and steady. You do not want to start your day off with any type of sugar at all. At lunchtime, make sure that you have some type of vegetable with a protein on it. I always recommend to our patients to have non-starchy vegetables, that's greens, that is vegetables like beans and broccoli and cabbage and cauliflower. Go to the salad bar. I would suggest you have a salad bar every day and on that salad you're going to add a protein. You may consider using oil and vinegar, uh, that would be balsamic vinegar instead of salad dressings because salad dressings have a lot of calories on them. If you're going to snack, I'm going to give you a secret. The best snack is celery. You want to know why? Because celery requires more energy to burn it and digest it than it's going to be adding to the bottom line inside of your body. You may want to consider almond butter. I know so many of you consume peanut butter, and peanut butter is an alternative, but I'd much rather have you use almond butter on a regular basis. It helps prevent sinus problems. Now at dinner time, vegetables and a protein. One of the number one foods that's going to increase weight in your body, potato chips. Potato chips themselves are very addictive and there's a lot of calories in chips. You want to avoid getting into a habit of going to the cafeteria and just picking up these snacks. And think about those chocolate chip cookies and putting something added onto those chocolate chip cookies. Those are calories. Now, I'm not telling you can never have anything sweet. I just need you to increase your awareness of what's um, being put in your body. Always make sure that you drink water from a pure source. Here's just a rough rule of thumb. You take your body weight. Let's say you weigh 150 pounds. You want to drink a minimum of a quart of water. There are some people that suggest you should consume one ounce of water for every pound of body weight. Now, for some of you that may be too much, drink a minimum of a quart of water every day because water is going to help push the toxins out of your body. 
Something that's really critical is oftentimes, especially when you go to school, you stop exercising. You may have played soccer in high school or volleyball, ran cross country, and you're very active. You're burning calories when you're doing that. So you're going to need to, to commit to yourself that you're going to need to consistently be moving because by exercising, you're burning those extra calories. I think that a lot of times, something that you totally forget about is the amount of calories that are in liquid beverages. So be aware of the amount of alcohol you're consuming. There's a lot of calories in alcohol. And one last thought, and we've done research on this. When you're eating, use smaller plates, take smaller servings. When you go to a movie, always buy a smaller container of popcorn because when you eat a larger container, you're going to be eating more food. When you go to a place that has chicken wings, don't let them take the chicken wings away. Leave them in front of you. You know what? why? Because you're going to eat less. Just be aware of what you're putting inside of your body. Liquid beverages are probably the biggest culprit, especially if you have a coffee drink. Stop putting those pumps of sugar in. It's calories. So you have to create a plan. No plan is a plan to fail. Remember to weigh yourself. Drink water from a pure, for, pure source. Make sure you eat non-starchy vegetables. That will make a huge difference. Get plenty of sleep because sleep is when your body makes growth hormone. And when you wake up in the morning, you should actually wake up hungry. Always start with the protein. Remember, always start with the protein. Minimize carbohydrates. Minimize those starches, those starchy vegetables. If you follow this plan, I guarantee you, you won't gain those freshman 15. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, The Drugless Doctor.